Hey y'all, it's Queen here to bring the messages for Divine Masculine for this week. I hope you all are doing well. I want to take a quick moment to thank everyone who has been subscribing to and supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys so much, okay? You guys are the GOATS. All right, Divine Masculine, so I went on to pull some cards for you just to see what type of energy you guys had going on. Oh, and by the way, leave me a, um, a message in my... Um, you know, in the comment section. And let me know if y'all like the singing bowl or not, okay? Because I can do it off camera. Ain't no problem. Mm-hmm. All right. So, anyways, the first card that came out for you is Stand Your Ground. That number is seven. Then we got Prosperity Begins. That number is one. Oh, sh. Movement, Choices, and Decisions. That number is two. And at the bottom of the deck, new beginnings. That number is zero. All right, masculine. So first things first, you guys are um, in an energy of setting healthy boundaries for yourself, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in, standing up for what's right. Okay, good job. Okay, some of you guys, um, you planted a seed somewhere in the past and now it's blooming. It's starting to grow. Okay, and you guys are, are coming to the knowledge about this. Um, some of you guys, you got some decisions that you need to make about your life here, okay? And your blood man, okay? Yeah, some of you guys, this is relationships. Some of you, this is jobs, money, um, you know, just everything, where you're living, all, all types of shit, okay? So you guys might be in your head a little bit here. But after you're done um, setting these healthy boundaries and, you know, whatever it is that you plan, it starts to grow here, all right? And you make these decisions, you guys are going to walk right into a new beginning. Okay. All right, you guys. You know what time it is. I'm about to get up in your business. Yes, I am. She about to get up in your business. I'm about to come in your house and sit on your couch. And we finna talk. Okay. All right. So first of all, y'all, check this out, right? Some of y'all masculines are getting ready to come out the closet, okay? And the reason why I know that is because for the last two days, I've been hearing I'm coming out by Diana Ross, okay? So some of you guys are getting ready to come out the closet. Some of you guys are getting ready to show the real you. Some of you guys are getting ready to start some sort of platforms where people are going to be able to see you or something, okay? But some of y'all are literally coming out. Like, you know what I'm talking about? You know? You know? Yeah. That kind. All right, and I've been picking that energy up too. Um, also, um, in other readings, you know, um, I have been picking up that there are some masculines that are um, in their head about their sexuality here, okay? Um, so, I don't know, you guys. You know, I am available for personal readings if you need some guidance on that, okay? But I have been picking that energy up, all right? Okay, guys. So, let's do it. First card out for you is the Ten of Swords. Not looking too good. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Divine Masculine? Okay. All right. And then we got the Queen of Wands. We got the Eight of Cups. The Ace of Cups. And the Four of Wands. Okay. So some of you guys are definitely in your head about somebody that you put... Well, I ain't going to say you put in a in a third-party situation. You probably did, okay? Because some of y'all be tripping. But some of you guys have been doing some type of behavior to people over and over and over again, okay? And you really, really, really want to walk away from some situation where either this person is doing this to you or you're doing this to this person, okay? Some of you guys have been drinking a lot. Some of you guys are pursuing new ideas, okay? And a lot of you guys are thinking about your twin, Okay, you're thinking about reconciling with your twin. You've been crying over your twin. You've been thinking about this situation where, like I said, some of you put this person in a third party situation. Okay, you've been really, really, really emotional about this. Some of you guys are com completing karmic cycles here. Okay, and this could have been a karmic cycle. All right, I, I, I got to stress this to people. Okay, when it comes to karma. When it comes to karma, some of your karma is inherited, okay? So some of you masculines, you picked this behavior up when you were young. You saw somebody in your family, your parent, somebody in an unhealthy relationship, and you started picking up these negative traits, okay? 
I cannot stress that enough, okay? You guys have to heal that shit. You break cycles by starting with yourself, okay? All right, yes, we have the high priestess here. Spirit is encouraging you to use your intuition. Spirit is reaching out to you. You might be seeing number synchronicities. You might be hearing this person's name. You might be seeing um, pictures or, I, you know, I don't know. But your intuition is definitely trying to tell you something about this person, okay? You do see this person as very abundant. You don't think this person really needs you financially. They probably don't. Okay, why the nine money here? Why is the nine of money here for the masculine spirit? Okay, yeah, you were you were behaving very immaturely. Okay, giving out very immature love offers here. Okay, but you've been asking spirit to come in and balance your emotions here because, like I said, a lot of you guys are very very emotional about this situation. Okay, whoever this person is that you walked away from. That you clearly stabbed in the back tons and tons of times. Like you did so much shit behind this person's back. They have no idea. Whatever they caught you doing, that's just like, that's nothing compared to what you were actually doing. Okay? Yeah, some of you guys are hi hiding babies, hiding children here. Or you could have possibly lied to this person about having children. Okay? Yeah, but you were sneaking behind this person's back doing bullshit. Yeah, you guys want a new beginning with this person. Okay? Yeah, we've been picking up on this energy, guys. Why don't you just call him? Shit. What the hell? Yeah. Um, some of you guys are really stressing the fact that you broke this person's heart, okay? Yeah, you actually, what happened here, this this backfired on you. Okay. When you walked away from this person, you thought that this was gonna break their heart, but in what happened is you turned around and broke your own damn heart. That's what you did. You're in more pain than this person ever was in. Yeah, because this was your person. This was somebody that, that you were supposed to be with for the long run. This is somebody made you completely happy. Nothing like the other people you was dealing with, okay? You've been dealing with a bunch of low vibrational energies here, okay? Yeah, you guys were juggling this person, making them feel unworthy, making them feel like you didn't need them, like you had all the options in the world. Some of you guys are traveling at this time. Yeah, like I said, you're trying to set healthy boundaries now because spirit has been has been tapping tapping on your shoulder here. Okay, and your intuition. Yeah. Yeah, you want to start over with this person. You want complete victory. You and this person can have a child together, or you want you want to have children with this person. Yeah, you want victory with this person. That's what you want. But you hurt. You hurt. But you did it. Like, what the hell? Yeah, some of you guys are still operating in low vibrational energy, or you were in some sort of karmic connection. Okay, you were entertaining somebody that was toxic. Somebody who wasn't doing right, okay? Somebody who was possibly putting magic on you in order to stop you from being with this person. Yeah, some of y'all wasn't in y'all right mind when y'all was behaving like this. Some of y'all was not. This person had all kinds, they was putting all kinds of spells on your ass. Yeah, you want to move forward towards this person whose heart you broke here. Yeah, you want victory, like I just said. You do. You really do. Mm-hmm. Yep, masculines, you do. You want to go back begging and crying all on your knees and things? Yeah. You want to talk about all this shit you sat here and did behind this person back and lied about? It looks like this person knows, though. Their intuition was on point. Okay? Their intuition told them to walk the fuck away. And they did. Honey, they did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was, a, this was a heaven sent partner. Yeah. This was somebody that was heaven sent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're dealing with karma off this. This is your karma, okay? Your heartbreak and you being all in your head and crying and can't stop thinking about this person and wanting to run and apologize and all this. This is karma. This is karma for you guys. Why is this Will of Fortune here for the masculines, please? Yeah. Okay, so you're back in the energy of wanting to offer, um, give this person some sort of offer. This is something that you spent a lot of money on, too, guys. Yeah, this is something you spent a lot of money on. It could be something big, like a house or a car or something. I mean, it could be something small, too, shit, but you spent some coins on it. Yes, you did. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, you, 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 you're about to send this person a message here. Okay, or you're thinking about it, you're getting ready to reach out to this person here. You want to have a conversation. You want to talk about this situation, about if you guys can reconcile or not. 
Okay? Because you guys are trying to build up the courage in order to do this. Because you know you fucked up. You did. You did, man. You fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you really want to reach you want to reach out to this person. This could be an age difference, okay? Or you could have learned a lot from this person. Or vice versa, this person could have learned a lot from you. You guys are um in some sort of um relationship that you walked away from here. This karmic. It looks like you walked away from this karmic, okay? And you're looking to move forward towards this queen of pentacles. Somebody who's responsible money with their money, okay? Somebody who's fruitful. Yeah, some of you guys work with this person and you want to work with them now. And you're working hard to build your finances up here as well. All right, you guys, y'all know what time it is, right? I got the juice. I got the juice. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, masculine. So, yeah, this is what's happening with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my Kipper deck just to see, you know, go in depth here, see exactly what's happening here with your situation. Okay. All right, spirit. What? Okay, well, that one just fell on out, so we're going to go and read it. Okay, yeah, some of you guys are working really hard, okay, because you're concerned about your finances here. Okay, and then we got distant horizons. We got thoughts. We got courtship. Concern. Change. Pathway. Unexpected income. Message of concern. And despair. All right, guys. All right. So what's happening here is um, you guys are concerned about your finances here, okay? Because you, this person that you're at a distance from, you, you're thinking about all of this shit that happened between y'all, okay? All right? You really want to court this person and start over, but you're concerned that this person is not going to accept this offer that you want to give to them, okay? You guys are definitely changing um, your living situation here, okay? Because you're getting ready to take a different path with your life, okay? You don't know where this path is going to lead you to, but you're going to step out on faith and just trust it here, okay? Yeah, some of you guys are either going to end up giving somebody some money or you're going to end up getting some sort of unexpected income here. Yeah, that looks like the karmic is going through like your messages, or your phone, okay? Yeah, and some of you guys could have lost your job. Okay, that's why you're working hard on your finances here, okay? Yeah. Yeah, this is what's happening here, guys. Okay, I'm going to pull from these little heart-shaped messages I got, okay? Just so, you know, I don't know what they gonna, what's going to come out. But I decided I'm going to show y'all the back of the cards, too, because somebody literally took their time to individually, like, paint each and every single card with something different on it. And I just think, you know, like, damn... We took all that time and we don't even like show the people the damn the damn uh painting. So I'm gonna show y'all both sides, okay? Okay. All right, spirit said go and get it. So I'm finna go and get it. Gee. These heart shaped cards, I'm telling you, they're so weird. Okay, hold on, let me get them together, y'all. All right. Okay, so this is this side of this card. All right. And when we flip it over. It says forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Can't help but to see the, all these wings and angels and shit, right? It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone Instead of place, placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself, okay? Spirit is encouraging you guys to practice some self-love here, okay? Damn, here go another one with wings. Wow. This, listen, this connection that you guys are thinking about, this is, you, both of you guys are earth angels, okay? Yeah, both of you guys are both uh, um, earth angels here. Okay, my beloved. Though we, or beloved, however y'all want to say it, don't be in the comments talking shit, okay? Okay. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends transcends space and time. Nothing is missing, okay? 
So you are letting this person know that you have been in contact with them in the 5D here, okay? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life, okay? So this is about your new beginning that you're getting ready to start here, masculines, okay? And this is the last card. Secret admirer. Someone's ha someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. I'm almost positive this is your ass, okay? Admiring this feminine that you're thinking about here, okay? You know, or whoever the hell you're thinking about. But yeah, a lot of you guys are definitely in this energy um, of wanting to start over, okay, with this person. I'm going to go ahead and pull some romance angels, okay? As soon as I pick them up at the bottom of the deck, it's forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I'm definitely going to keep that, okay? Yeah, for some of you guys, this karmic knows about this um this soulmate or this this twin, okay, that you guys are thinking about. Yeah, you, you, you guys could have been in some sort of conflict about this because this person, like, probably went through your phone or your email or something like that <sighs> and found information about this person, okay? Look at here. I told you some of y'all been hiding babies, man. This been coming out. This came out for y'all last week. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Yeah, so some of you guys just need to keep it 100 with this person and let them know that you have, a, have like, children here. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Don't flirt with everybody, Divine Masculine, because we know how you do sometimes. Okay. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I told you some of you guys picked this behavior up when you were children. You really did. Okay. Chemistry. There's a strong magnet magnetic attraction here. Okay. Okay, guys. Listen. Um, when it comes to feel, healing family issues, a lot of people ignore that shit. They really do. A lot of people just be like, well, I grew up like this. It was hard. It was tough. And that's just what it is. But in real life, guys, in order to change or break a cycle, it starts with you. It starts with you. Okay. Especially when you have children, your children do what they see you do, not what you say. Okay. That's why people be so frustrated with their kids. Like, why are they not listening to me? They doing what the hell they see you doing. They not going to do what you tell them to do. They going to do what you do. Okay, so you guys need to heal these relationships. You guys need to heal yourself. You need to heal your childhood trauma so that you guys can move on and, and live in a better, healthier environment. Okay, so you can start attracting people who are healed because once you heal, you're going to attract what you are, not what you want. Okay. All right, masculines, I wish you guys the best for you guys that are reaching out to your soulmates here, okay? Um, I really hope everything works out for you. If you guys need to book a personal read or you want to donate to my channel, that information is in the description box. Thank you all for being here. I love y'all. Love and light. Later.